Coming to the location of the stimulation, uh, the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, both right and left, has been a key target area of interest. What is the principle behind choosing this particular part of the brain? Yeah, I think the principle is to a large degree still built on the foundations of this frontal asymmetry uh, hypothesis. Um, yeah, but of course we know better now that it's really uh, about the projection to deeper structures like the subgenual anterior cingulate. Uh, so that's the foundation it was initially built upon. Uh, we do see that a large portion of the patients are responding to that. And interestingly enough, we see if you go to, if you go through the whole TMS literature, because everyone started with TMS stimulation, you can go through all the indications, like people have applied it in tinnitus, in schizophrenia, mm -hmm. uh, in, in all kinds of disorders. And where do you think they started stimulating? In the DLPFC. I think because there was still some frightening aspect, like, well, we're really stimulating the brain, uh, we need to be safe and let's start with something we know has been done before. So what we've seen as well is that now that TMS has been considered safe, has been used much more widely used, that people are now slowly start considering more alternative stimulation locations. Uh, these are all still off-label usage and, and should be considered experimental. Uh, but I'm emphasizing it because I think the development is very important. For example, we know that the orbital frontal cortex is involved in, in the depression network as well. Mm -hmm. Although it's a targeting a different uh, resting state network relative to the, to the dorsolateral prefrontal uh, cortex. And some, one study has already shown that those P patients that do not respond to traditional DLPFC TMS might be responding uh, to orbital frontal stimulation. Only 25%, but again, for a patient that is not responding to traditional TMS, that could still be quite a big help. And that's something we're, we're, we're trying uh, off-label in, uh, in, in our clinic as well, and had some success here and there. And similarly, there's the dorsal medial prefrontal cortex, uh, which has shown some, quite some good effects as well. And so the interesting thing is that both clinicians and researchers are pushing the envelope now uh, in a very systematic uh, way to see what other targets there could be uh, to have more people benefit from this potential treatment.